Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Sorcerer's Arena video. Now, I had quite a lot of mixed comments on this uh, video guys, basically saying about, um, well, uh, that it's just a cash grab money hungry game and it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. Now, I do agree with that. I agree with that a lot guys. Um, I, I haven't played it enough in this update yet to give you like a full honest opinion so I'm not going to be judging it too much yet but I do think it's a little bit of a shame that they've um well that basically they've just taken the the um, game and completely ruined it as um Jai commented actually saying that um there's already enough 5v5 games that is true we don't need another one, and I cannot agree with that more. Um, so yeah, so one of my biggest problems lies here is the fact that they've just gone and chucked in another random 5v5 game. And it, oh, and it is a little bit of a shame because I don't think it needed to happen that way. I really think it should have just kind of stayed um, the way it was. And just because it was different, it was more unique. But anyway, I wanted to kind of do some breakdown videos on tips and tricks that I've learned of playing this game. So I was quite, I went hardcore in it. So I wanted to save all of this so we could kind of claim this together and see what I'm getting here. So that's from the, uh, yeah, I don't really care about the pass holder stuff. But it, okay, so one of my initial, one of my automatic things which annoys me is the madness that the, these two passes cost. In my opinion, when you buy the gold pass, you should get the, um, when you get the VIP pass, you should get the battle pass as well. Now, I don't know if you want to call me mental for suggesting something like that, but to me, that makes enough sense to me that, you know, you shouldn't have to spend 15 pound um, a, a week, a month on this game to, to get anywhere close. I think it's absolutely crazy that they do it that way. You, it just shouldn't, it, it, it just shouldn't, it shouldn't be a thing, guys. It just really shouldn't be a thing. And it kind of irritates me that that's the way they've done it. And yeah, it's just something like that, it's kind of a main thing I like to kind of start on talking about. Guys, I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think of this kind of new mode, the new kind of update of this game. So. The first thing I, I want to talk to you about, guys, when I go through this kind of video series on how to advance in this game as quickly as possible, and I know this is so obvious, and most of you are probably going to tell me how obvious it is, but it is very important. The most important thing you can do is take a look and play on, um, is basically play on, uh, all of the daily missions without really even thinking about what's happening. This is the most important thing you can do. Get your daily missions done. You're gonna get brilliant rewards, you're gonna get the tokens to open chests, and they have increased all of the chess loot you get out of chess, but they've made it a lot harder to get everything else. So, level up a character, equip some gear, complete elite battle. So you can do this in a quick motion. Yeah, so I'm saving up a million to get um, Aerial up to the max level. So, uh, they've got these crystals now, which you can equip to basically allow people to get higher, which I think is kind of cool. It's not, it's, you know, it's nothing exciting. I, I saw that the last time I played. So we want to try and find some of these things. So I'm going to want to these. I need 35 of those. I'm going to request them. Now, we need a lot of these. So I'm going to jump into a battle and see if I can start to get these unlocked as we go. So... 5A, um, let's just go in and battle and see if we can just win this one. But the problem is I'm probably not going to be able to five star it. So what I need to do here is, is look at my characters and work out who I should be leveling, who I should be working on individually because now it's a five character game. So what I want to do to start off with is, so I'm going to ignore that one for now because like I said, I haven't got too much of my character. So I want to level up Mickey Mouse. So let's get him upgraded to one uh, to two stars there, which is great. He's looking pretty cool. Um, I think he looks really sick, Mickey Mouse. So yeah, we've got, we've promoted Mickey Mouse up to two stars, guys. We're gonna continue that through. Then I'm gonna put a shard on here. Why not just put that one on? And then I'm gonna find some gear for him. Um, I think those are already equipped. Yeah, 
So, available now, I'm gonna buy one, confirm. That's a bit quicker now. Um, I wonder if I can just keep auto win. So let's just do free battles, auto win free battles. Okay, I don't really care about that. Equipped, and then let's do it up here as well. Auto win free. Free battles is just like normally a nice amount to try and get all the potential drops that you need. So I'm gonna auto win that again. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to this one. I'm gonna win it five times because I'm not. Oh my god. Okay, that is diabolical drops there, guys. So um I wonder if I could I've got most of these upgraded or maxed out on Mickey Mouse. And I guess I could um come in and level them up a little bit more. Um, which I guess I should probably do before I get Bo Peep to rank seven. Because that's gonna cost a million gold. But I did get a lot of diamonds actually. No, I didn't really. So what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna buy a load of gold here, guys. Let's get a load of gold. Because at the moment, that's kind of what I need to try and get five characters leveled up. So we've got some gold, and I'm going to save up enough diamonds to just cop that again, guys. And that's going to be... Oh, okay. Okay, let's have a look. Are they... Oh, 48 pound. 48 pound. That is just mad. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Gold and gear pack. I might potentially treat myself to that, you know, guys, because I need some gold and I do try. Want, I want to try and get into this game, but I probably won't, to be fair, because it is it is pretty mad. Um, cool. So we've got some chests in there. We've got some kind of uh, pass holder booster packs in here, which aren't extremely bad, but yeah, I, no. So I guess the VIP bad isn't the VIP crate isn't like extremely bad. But um, yeah, they could do without these constant pop-ups. So I'm basically saving up a million. So let's get into the club uh, conquest. Um, I've got some awards to pick here. One shard. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Great, I guess. Okay, so let's let's continue through. Um, so, okay, now you can kind of start from the left here, guys, and work your way around and go down the missions. So I know here, let's set my defense, so I'm not going to have a max team here. So let's just put on the cards that, there, thanks. So I've got some cards I'm working on, set, lovely. Now I'm just going to battle some of the weaker teams, just because I know you need to do, I'm pretty sure it's one of these battles a day, and um, this will help you with your daily mission. This looks a lot cooler now, um, it's just a shame that, I don't know. I'm going to need to play this game a little bit more before I make a decision on if I want to go, okay, let's spend some money or... That did like two damage. That's going to damage him. Oh, I didn't even damage everyone. So let's get them all hitting Sully for now. Oh, I see. So that hits in a radius of three. That's pretty cool. So you can obviously see in this game, everybody has the same characters because I am imagining quite a lot of these... Um, people were um when they played it when i did so basically before the game was out and it was easier to level up that doesn't necessarily give me an advantage guys because most of these characters that i have at the moment uh are kind of like well now i can't ever level them up again if you follow my drift because the whole kind of routine of the game's changed so it's just one of those things where um you do get a little bit stuck Six damage, boys. Come on, come on. Here we go, big hit. Bang. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, now let's just let's take Gaston out. He's gone. Easy stuff. So obviously that is just generally because those characters are so underpowered. I do really want to get um, 
uh, aerial up to seven stars. That's what I'm going to wait for to do now. And I'm going to also work on leveling Mickey Mouse up. But like I said, that is going to take a while. So you might as well just drop this on auto and you guys can see it go, and you guys can just see it go through. So the times free speed would be nice, but you are looking at almost spending 10 pound a month on this game. Like that is mad. That is pretty mad. Like I might get involved in it. I might jump into that. Maybe just buy it once and then just sort of do a proper hardcore session uh, for a whole month on this game and see what happens, see what it looks like. Um, so you can obviously see that clearly Ariel's quite a good character now because she heals the entire team. And obviously it is, it is a bit mad to um, upgrade the character's kind of um, skills now. But like I said, it's just a little bit annoying at the moment because all of my characters don't do a lot of damage, so it's probably better just to use the three of them, because all of the other characters are just pointless to use, and then I can get to their turns quicker, and I guess that would make it a quicker way to get through. So you can see there's that, that mission's completed, that's gonna move me up the ranks a little bit, which is which is great. And then, um, so what I was basically saying with the daily missions, guys, I'm coming here now, and I've got claim. I can just claim down all of these, getting loads of stamina, and they're nice and easy to claim. And none of these are difficult, complete PvP arena battle, uh, complete the summoner challenges, so in here, you know, just, just go to where you can auto-win it, like that, without even thinking, in here, auto-win that one, great. And then obviously, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we can get the gold tomorrow again, which is good. And claim that now as well. And all we're doing here is just getting a nice amount of levels up and going through everything. Level up a character. Okay, so that means I can level up, uh, a peep now. Uh, sorry, Ariel now, great. There's that challenge completed. Complete three elite battles. So these are quite nice, because we want to see who I'm working on at the moment. I've got, I don't really like Gaston too much. What's this about? 2B bonus, that one. So we might as well just auto win that one three times. One bonus shard. Cool. So there's, there's those three done. Then it's very easy just to go now into the villain campaign. And now I'm gonna do one in here. Uh, let's see. I don't need any more aerial shards because she's maxed out. Stage two. I guess I'll just smash three down there, guys. That's three villain villainous ones done. Claim that. Complete the grand arena. Oh, so there is Sully is there. We can get over to Sully. Start getting him leveled up now. So I will I will do that. I'm not gonna bother putting any other characters on. Um oh, you've got to fill the squad. Oh, that is rancid. But yeah, I'm going to round this video up, guys. It's just important that you get all those daily missions done. I'm going to do this battle, and then I'll round the video up, guys. Like, I don't mind this game. I just need to wrap my head around it uh, because there's so much happening in it. Um, like, this is obviously isn't going to be difficult because this is quite a low level where they've more or less reset most of the things in this game. So it's easy enough just to chuck it on auto and off you go through without really needing to think about what you're doing on things like this. So I'll just go straight to the next battle. And I can basically see how far along I can go. But I just want to get to this Sully mission and then I can start to do my stamina and diamond spending spree on just going through this as much as possible. Um, so I have got mixed reviews in this game. I will be doing a few videos on it, guys, because I am trying to get into it because I love Disney and this game is pretty cool. But they just need to kind of, um, maybe after they've released the game and people are like, what on earth is going on? Uh, we might get somewhere relatively decent, guys. That's what I'm thinking. So, and that's kind of what I'm hoping for. And then you can just complete one arena battle, then you get the tokens, and you can spend the tokens in the shop. Also, guys, you know, make sure that you claim your quests in here as well, just as you go, just to see if you can level up and get some bits. But I don't really care about the battle pass. I just think it's a bit mad, really. But yeah, anyway guys, make sure you like and subscribe for more Disney Heroes, Disney Sorcerers Arena Heroes battle mode copy knockoff videos, and I'll see you all in the next one.